So, are you wondering how to set up an Azita Corsa online racing server with day and night transition? Hey sim racers, in this guide I will show you how to set up a 24 hours of spa online server with 10 minutes of practice and a 30 minute race duration session. The race will start at 12.30 p.m. and finish the next day at 12.30 p.m. Now in order to get this to work you must have content manager and you want to use the content managers server manager for this guide. You must update to the latest version of Soul Alpha and custom shaders patch. You must also have a working server set up. Welcome to Highness, and this video is part of a new series where I show you how to get the most out of Vesera Corsa with apps and mods like Content Manager, Custom Shaders Patch, Soul, and more. If there are any corrections or updates related to this video, then I'll make the necessary edits and add them to the description, or you'll see the cards pop up right now. Okay, are you ready? Let's go. I'll cover the why, what, and how. So ever since Soul has released its day and night transition and weather effects, at the time of making this video with the latest alpha release of Soul, we can now enjoy day and night transition on server races. So what we'll do is we'll create a 10 minute qualifying session and a 30 minute race that actually spans 24 hours in the sim. The race will start on the 27th of July 2019 at 1230 It'll run for 30 in real life minutes and it'll end on the 28th of July 2019 at 12.30 p.m. There are seven phases in this guide. So let's jump straight into it. So follow these steps to set up the server. In Content Manager, click on Server and click on this little plus button right at the bottom to create a new server. All right, so we'll give the server a name. And then let's select the spa track and then select how many cars we would like on this particular server. I'll go for the usual default of 16 and it's a good idea to add a password. So I'm going to add a very secure password. And now for our entry list, I'm going to basically add a bunch of GT3 cars. And there we have it, we have 16 cars selected. And now next, let's go to conditions. We'll set the start time to 8 a.m. And we'll leave the time multiplier to one. And now pay attention to the weather. We will click on weather effects right there. And then we'll select a weather type. Okay, now we have to also set the race time. So click on these three little dots here, the three vertical dots, click that. And in this time checkbox, tick this box right here. And we're going to set the race to start at 12.30. So I'm going to click into the field right in here. Right where it says 12.30 and press enter. Set the time multiply to 48. So I'm going to click on the one and type in, delete the one and type in 48. And also let's put a tick in specific date. And we'll actually select the 7th of the 27th 2019 so that's July 07 27 all right so press enter so now we've got July 27th 2019 and now we'll head on to sessions and make sure that we untick bookings so there's no checkbox in that bookings and also tick the loop mode make sure there's a tick box in loop mode this particular setup I'm going to untick practice make sure that qualification is ticked and we'll leave the qualification time to 10 minutes. I like to leave the qualify limit to 100% so that we don't uh, waste too much time after the qualifying time has ended. And then next, make sure that there's a tick box in race and where it says limit by, we want to tick this and then limit by time. And how much time? We're gonna enter 30 minutes. And make sure extra lap is not ticked. And that's it, hit save. And then finally, if you click folder right here, Windows Explorer will open and we can see the two files, the two server files that we need to upload to our server. So we'll select the whole thing and then upload these two files onto your server. 
and then finally let's go to race and there is my server right there and uh, yeah it's just a matter of hitting the join and going for a spin around spa in 24 hours so just to recap you must use content managers server manager for this guide you, and you also must have the latest soul alpha and shaders patch now there are some known bugs with this particular setup you may notice that as soon as you jump into your server or when you finished one session like a qualifying session and then you're about to start the race session and also if you finish the race session and you're about to start the qualifying session again you may notice that time rewinds very very rapidly like the sun will set and then rise and set and rise and set really fast like many times a second and uh, this may be jarring this is just the way Sol actually rewinds the time on the server back to the start and I also want to share one little bit of information if you happen to set this top multiplier to 0.4 that means the server will be able to run a single session for 24 real hours you can change the weather effects multiplier which is this multiplier right down here you can change this multiplier to whatever you want so 2.5x right here will give you a one to one change in game with the four point with the point four up here if you happen to change this to point four but if you're only racing for less than 10 hours then there's no need to check you know there's no need to alter this top time multiplier because as you know the server time starts at 8 a.m and it finishes at 6 p.m so that's 10 hours and if you need more than 10 hours of real racing time then you would manipulate that server time using a uh, decimal of decimal time multiplier now if you'd like to join this particular server i will put a link for that to this in the description below i'm not sure how long it'll be online it may be swapped over to some other session but uh, for the next at least week i'll leave it running and if you do a search online for SOL, you'll see a bunch of servers online already implementing the day and night transition. And as usual, if you have any questions about what I've covered in this guide, then ask me in the comments. Thank you for your time and attention and see you in the next one.